Jeopardy! Let's meet today's contestants. A financial analyst from Huntington Valley, Pennsylvania, Bianca Hedges. A graduate student in physics from Fort Jefferson, New York, Colin West. And our returning champion, an internet operations technician from Mineral Point, Wisconsin, Fred Vaughn, whose three-day cash winnings total $49,600. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Well, folks, welcome again to our program, a half hour of answers and questions featuring a good champion in Fred and two excellent challengers in Bianca and Colin. Welcome aboard. Good luck. Here we go. Categories are It Borders Austria. Okay. Air quotes. Skillful adjectives. Technology. Pro-women. Con men, C-O-N, in quotation marks. We know what that means. Fred? Uh, let's start with con men for 200. Bernstein and von Karajan were famous in this job. Fred? What is conductor? Yes. 400 con men. British landscape painter John, or a British police officer. Fred? What is constable? Right you are. It borders Austria for 200. Apulia and the southeastern plains form the heel of this country to Austria's south. Colin. What is Italy? Yes. Con men, 600. First name of Mr. Nast, who in 1909 began a publishing empire that today includes W, GQ, Vanity Fair, and more. Fred. Who is Conde? Conde, right. Uh, con men for eight. Unlike Edward the Martyr, English King Edward may have been called this to mean he died naturally and had time to see a priest. Colin? Who is Edward the Confessor? You are right. Con men for a thousand. Limbermen.com touts men's flexibility at its best and is a website for these guys. Fred? Who are contortionists? Yes. Air quotes for 200. In an 1868 song, he'd fly through the air with the greatest of ease. Bianca. Who is the man on the flying trapeze? Yes. Uh, it borders Austria for 400, please. The European headquarters of the United Nations are in this country, due in part to its foreign policy. Colin. What is Switzerland? Good. Technology, 200. In weaving, it's the machine used for interlacing the horizontal and vertical elements. Colin. What is a loom? Loom, right you are. Technology, 400. A stopcock is an external this five-letter item used to control a liquid flow through a pipe. Fred? What is a gauge? No. Colin? What is a valve? Valve, yes. Technology 600. The first atom bomb using this transuranium element was detonated on July 16th, 1945 in New Mexico. Colin? What is plutonium? Good. Technology 800. To shape molten metal or the furnace used to melt metal. Colin. What is the smelt? No. Fred or Bianca? What is forge? Back to you, Colin. Technology for a thousand. Most welding torches use this colorless gas, C2H2, burned with oxygen to produce a heat high enough to cut metal. Fred. What is acetylene? That's it. Air quotes for four. Matthew chapter 6, verse 26 says, Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not... Neither do they this. Colin? What is reap? Reap, that's the word. Air quote 600. Critic Dave Hickey called criticism the written equivalent of this, such as playing imaginary Stratocaster. Fred? What is air guitar? Air guitar, good. That takes you up to 3,400. We're going to take a break right now, come back to chat with the players, and then we'll finish the round. Stay with us, please. Bianca Hedges is a financial analyst from Pennsylvania. Now, in order to get here, you had to take some pretty tough tests. Yeah. So it's quite an accomplishment just winding up as a contestant on our program. And yet you have admitted that your 10-year-old could beat you 
at Jeopardy? Yes. My 10-year-old Kevin, when he was six years old, he memorized the map of the world. He can tell you where Burkina Faso is. Wow. And we have an app about placing uh, countries on the world, and the first time we played it, he beat me yeah, at that, six. Yeah, but that's geography. Now, what about the other subjects? Uh, he also does sports statistics. He can quote you sports statistics. He does lists. He is a, a budding Jeopardy wannabe. All right, we'll have him take the test, please. I will. Thank you. Okay. Colin West is a graduate student in physics who got some advice from Alan Alda, the famous actor. Yes, uh, at my university, Stonebrook University, Alan runs a program where we, he teaches scientists improv theater tricks um, to help with our ability to communicate both with the public and with each other. Um, and I've found that it's helped me uh, be a better scientist. That What's the best advice he gave you? Oh, just to connect, uh, to put yourself in the other person's shoes, try to anticipate what they're thinking and feeling. Yeah, that would help in teaching science. Yeah, huh? yeah. Okay, Fred Vaughn is our champion, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he has already decided that some of the money he has won on Jeopardy will be used to travel. That's often the case with our champions. And he also wants to donate some to charities. What's your favorite charity and tell me why? Oh my, um, it would have to be um, Hodan Community Services in my town, Mineral Point, Wisconsin. Um, they provide you know, services and work opportunities for disabled adults. Good for you. All right, let's get back into this, Fred. You're in command. Go ahead and make a selection as we continue. It borders Austria for 600. The geographic center of the European Union is in this country. Fred. What is the Czech Republic? No. Bianca. What is Germany? Germany is right. You were thinking of your son there with that That's geography <laughs> clue. Go again. It borders Austria for 800, please. Northward ho, you'll find the Moravian lowlands and Bohemian basin in this country. Bianca. What is the Czech Republic? Yes. It borders Austria for 1,000. In 2015, thousands of Middle Eastern migrants headed for the Austrian border, many via this ex-Yugoslav Republic due south. Fred? What is Croatia? No. Colin or Bianca? What is Slovenia? Bianca, go again. Uh, skillful adjectives for 200, please. Fill in A-D blank blank T and you're this skillful word. Fred. What is E-P? No. Colin. What is uh, R-O-I? No. Bianca's not going to try. Fill in A-D blank blank T. A-D and T are part of the word, so you would be adept if you filled in those two blanks. Now that you understand, Bianca, you pick. Skillful adjectives for 400, please. Fill in A-D blank 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 T and you're this skillful word. Bianca. What is adroit? Good. Skillful adjectives for 600, please. It's a two-word sweet popcorn treat made into one word. Bianca. What is Cracker Jack? Good. Skillful adjectives for 800, please. From the Latin for wise, it has the rare double V. And that word is savvy. Back to you, Bianca. Skillful adjectives for 1,000, A skilled professional might be this, with the same first four letters as professional. Bianca. What is proficient? Good. Air quotes for 800, please. Answer. <laughs> Daily double. <laughs> and you're in the lead. You have as much money as Fred and Colin combined. Um, 1,000, please. All right. Here is the clue for you. These, our actors, as I foretold you, were all spirits and are melted into air in this island set Shakespeare play. What is the Tempest? You are correct, and we have less than a minute now to finish the round. Pick again. Air quotes for a thousand, please. Her poem, Lady Lazarus, ends, Out of the ash I rise with my red hair, and I eat men like air. And the author is Sylvia Platt. One category still in play, Bianca. Pro Women for 200, please. She made her European racing debut in 1998, competing in the Formula Vauxhall Winter Series. Colin. It was Danica Patrick. Right. Pro Women 400. It was Martina Navratilova who suggested this Russian tennis player move to Florida. She turned pro at 14. Colin. It was Maria Sharapova. Yes. Pro Women 600. This MMA champ said, what makes me so confident that I can win is I'm the greatest fighter in the world. Fred. Who is Ronda Rousey? Yes. And that takes you up to 2,600. Bianca in the lead with 4,600. Can she add to that? We'll find out when we come back in Double Jeopardy.
Fred picked first in the first round. He picks first in double jeopardy because he's now in third place. Here are the categories. Z words, each correct response beginning with that letter, followed by zoology, which also begins with a Z. Pop music comes next. Then influential nonfiction, 19th century America, and finally, mixed bag. A little bit of everything. Fred, start us. Uh, mixed bag for 400. On an extra hot day on this planet closest to the sun, temperatures can reach over 800 degrees. Bianca. What is Mercury? That's the planet. Mixed bag for 800, please. More than 4,500 ex-players have sued the NFL for not disclosing the long-term dangers of these brain injuries. Colin. What are concussions? Yes. 19th century America, 400. Joining Great Britain, Congress passed an act in 1807 abolishing this international African trade. Fred. What is slave trade? Yes. Uh, mixed bag for 1,200. What the couple here is doing, or a number one pop hit from the summer of 78. Fred. What is shadow dancing? That's it. Um, Z words for 400. This two word term for the start time of a military operation. Colin. What is zero hour? Correct. 19th century America, 800. Here's Jimmy with the clue. 62,000 men in parallel core columns covered up to 15 miles a day on their way to Savannah in this general's march to the sea. Bianca. Who is Sherman? Good. Mixed bag for 1600, please. TLC describes this show with a rhyming title as part fashion show, part bridal story, part family therapy. Colin. What is say yes to the dress? Yes. 19th century, 1200. The Credit Mobilier scandal involved this oceanic railroad company. Colin. What is the Atlantic? No. Fred. What is the Southern Pacific? No. Correct response. What is the Union Pacific? Colin, you had a feeling that was it, but you didn't pick it. Go 16, again, though. 1600, 19th century America. All right. You're still going to wind up with a daily double to deal with. And you have enough money to uh, take the lead away from Bianca. Let's wager 2200. All right, that'll do it. Here is the clue. In 1890, this Bureau of the Government reported that the West was so settled that no frontier could be said to exist. What is the Land Bureau? No, what is the Census? Mm -hmm. Census Bureau. All right, go again. Still plenty of time. Z words 800. This restaurant rating service that began in 1979. Colin. What is Zagat? Yeah. Z words 1200. This frothy Italian treat made with eggs, sugar, and wine. Fred. What is Zabaloni? Yes, that's it. Pop music for 400. During her 2015 Unbreakable tour, she duetted on Scream with her brother Michael's recorded voice. Fred. Who is Janet Jackson? She's the one. Pop Music 8. The Eagles had seven women on my mind in this hit. Fred. What is Take It Easy? Take It Easy, yes. Uh, pop music for 1,200. Beyonce was featured as a guest vocalist on this artist's 2010 hit, Telephone. Colin. Who is Lady Gaga? Right. Pop 1,600. This singer-songwriter reached the top ten twice with Breaking Up is Hard to Do in 1962 and 1976. Fred. Who is Neil Sedaka? Right. Let's finish pop music for 2000. Since his huge success producing Amy Winehouse and funking with Bruno Mars, you may not be able to get him to DJ your party. Colin? Who's Mark Ronson? Yeah. Um, Z word 1600. This Yiddish adjective meaning plumply voluptuous. Fred? What is zaftig? That's it. Let's finish Z words. Answer? <laughs> the other daily double. And you are in the lead right now. 2,000. Okay. In Z words, here's the clue for you. This eponymic word for Mexican rebels of the 1910s and their modern descendants. Who are Zapatistas? That's it. And up to 10,200 goes your score. Let's finish mixed bag for 2,000. This writer of more than 80 plays was nicknamed the father of Greek tragedy. Colin. Who's Aeschylus? Good for you. Influential nonfiction, 400. This ancient Greek wrote his poetics around 340 BC. Colin. Who's Aristotle? Right. 
uh, nonfiction 800? On the Revolutions of the Heavenly Spheres by this astronomer wasn't published until 1543, the year of his death. Bianca. Who is Copernicus? That's it. Influential nonfiction 1200, please. Arnold Toynbee's 12-volume study of this school subject provoked debate on the decline and fall of civilizations. And that was the history of the decline and fall. Back to you, Bianca. Zoology for 400, please. An African type of this carrion eater, the Rupel's Griffon, has been known to fly as high as seven miles. Fred. What is a vulture? Vulture, yes, indeed. Um, let's finish 19th century America for 2000. This American naval hero wasn't killed in the Illinois city that bears his surname, but rather in a duel in Maryland. Fred? Um, too much time. Who is Stephen Decatur? Back to you, Fred. Zoology for 800. Anteaters belong to a suborder called vermilingua, which means worm this in Latin. Bianca. What is tongue? Yes, a minute ago. Zoology for 1,200, please. This swift African cat has claws that are not fully retractable, enabling it to grip the ground when running after prey. Colin. What is a cheetah? Good. Nonfiction 1,600. This Latin word follows principia in the title of Newton's work often just called principia. Colin. What is mathematica? That's it. it Nonfiction 2,000. His research study, Sexual Behavior in the Human Female, was a sensation in 1953. Fred? Who's Kinsey? Alfred Kinsey, correct. Zoology for 1600. The nesting group of this large tropical seabird is called a colony, not a hatch. Bianca? What is a booby? Booby, yes, a red-footed booby there. And now the last clue. This toothed whale has the largest brain of any animal and can dive to a depth of almost two miles. Bianca? What is a dolphin? No. Colin or Fred? What is the sperm whale? All right, all three of you in good shape as you get ready for final Jeopardy. Let's take a look at the category. The Emmys. Hey, popular subject. We'll see how much they wager and how well they do when we reveal the clue following this. Something our show has won quite a number of. The Emmys. And players, here is your clue. It's the first show nominated for both Outstanding Comedy Series, 2014, and Outstanding Drama Series, 2015. You have 30 seconds. Good luck. Bianca, we come to you first. Would your son have gotten this? I Let's take a look. What is orange is the new black? I don't know if he should be watching that one, <laughs> but uh, you're right, that's the show. And it will add $4,201 to your total, taking you up to 11,201, taking us to Fred Vaughn, our champion. Did he get orange and black? He did. And his wager, 5,500, that puts him in the lead now with 16,100. And Colin West shaking his head, although he's smiling because he wrote down Veep. That's a popular show, fun show. It'll cost you $10,200. You're going to finish in third place. And champ, you remain champ. And you now have a four-day total of $65,700. The beat keeps going on and on and on. Enjoy it. We'll see you all tomorrow, we hope. Prizes for our second and third place contestants provided by Ali. Promotional consideration provided by...